You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. I'm super excited about today's segment because it is one of triumph. It is a story of victory over COVID-19, and this victory wouldn't have happened without a strong and determined warrior CNA. Thank you to Patch.com for initially publishing this story. Early last summer at a hospital in Riverhead, New York, two unlikely women met and their lives would both be changed forever. This is a beautiful story about a woman who spent her 84th birthday fighting for her life and the certified nursing assistant who refused to let her die. Lenore Friedman spent eight weeks as a patient battling the virus at Peconic Bay Medical Center in Riverhead, and she credits her survival to CNA Danny Foskey, who, she said, saved her life with a can-do spirit that refused to let her give up. Danny said she was Lenore's first CNA when she got to her unit. Danny says, I had just started working at the hospital a couple of weeks before the outbreak and quarantine, but I've been an aide for almost seven years. She continued, I worked with a lady who was on airborne precautions and ended up being the chosen one to work on our COVID East unit. Lenore was literally the only patient on the floor with me and my amazing nurses. We were scared to death, honestly, of what was to come. Then, Danny said, she met Lenore, and to her surprise, Lenore was nothing like she had pictured. In Danny's head, COVID-19 was a monster with three heads. As Danny says, but here Lenore was, this regular-looking lady with the most spitfire sense of humor. Danny tells how Lenore helped her through the days as the COVID unit grew from one patient to 30. Lenore and Danny laughed and cried together all in the same minute. Danny would put Frank Sinatra on her Pandora and take Lenore outside to get some fresh air sit and watch the cars pass and the flowers bloom. When Lenore speaks of Danny, she talks of a forever bond formed in the most unlikely of places. Lenore states, Danny is probably a saint and let me tell you why, she continues. Ask anybody in the hospital, I was out of it. I had gotten to the point where I wasn't even going to try anymore. But she's a toughie. She sat in that chair and leaned back like a police officer and said, you're going to get up and you're going to walk. You're going to do this. I'll walk with you, but you're going to do this. Lenore says she motivated me and not with honey, sweetie, darlings. She made me get up and made me do what I needed to do. And then she'd put her arms around me and say, it's going to be okay. Lenore says Danny gave her the inspiration to live and that she loves her for that. Lenore initially went to the hospital for a broken kneecap after a fall, only to be diagnosed with COVID-19. And as she puts it, was barely hanging on by one fingernail. She said, my will was gone. Lenore said being a patient in the hospital during the crisis was a blur of masked men and women coming into her room. She said it reminded her of an old Western movie and that she gave up hope. She gave up hope until Danny came into that room and brought a new determination and will to Lenore's fierce battle. Lenore explains she feels her mother sent Danny to her. Lenore states, everyone at that hospital was great. 
But Danny just looked at me, and I don't know why. I'm an old broad. But Danny saw something in me that was worth fighting for. She just made the difference. She's a total gift. She's in the right profession. She has this patience, even in this crazy time. Lenore, who is normally active, going to the gym, going to temple, attending art and civil war groups and socializing with friends, found herself unconscious for much of her two months. Her family was terrified. At first, Lenore admitted she thought Danny was mean with her no-nonsense ways. However, that quickly changed and she thought Danny was the kindest person. Lenore admits she used to look on the staff board and if Danny's name was on it, she felt better. Lenore's own mother, she said, taught her that something good can come of even the worst of times. Lenore states, besides survival, the best thing that came out of this was Danny. She's a gift from God. Lenore says Danny, the CNA, gave me the inspiration to live and she loves her for it. Lenore too spoke of the moments in the garden filled with Frank Sinatra and hope. Danny, she said, put her very own coat around Lenore's shoulders. She just became my mom, she said. She has what every person in the nursing field should have. She has a heart. If my mother were here, she would squeeze her hand and say she has compassion. When Danny heard Lenore was finally going home, it was on a day she had been given off, so she went to the flower shop. Lenore thought she wasn't going to see Danny again, so Danny waited outside with Lenore's daughter, Wendy, and surprised her. Danny stated, it was an amazing feeling to watch her go home healthy and to be a part of her journey here. I'm so glad to have known her and happy that we have both had such an impact on each other's lives. I love her to pieces. On the day that Lenore was finally released after her battle for her life, Danny wrote on her Facebook of her experience with Lenore stating, I remember the first day I met you and I was shaking in my scrubs. Writing about waiting with flowers outside the hospital upon Lenore's discharge, Danny states, it was only right I be there to wish you well and see you off. Eight weeks and my lady finally came back COVID free. If I didn't know what I was meant to do in life before, I promised it was solidified today. Lenore states of her COVID battle, you don't play the hand you want, you play the hand you're dealt. You don't sit in a chair and wait to die prematurely. You have to push through. I had a bad thing happen, but I found something very good and her name was Danny. She didn't just save my physical life, she saved my mind. She and Frank Sinatra, everyone in their life should meet a Danny if they're lucky. Danny Fosky, I am in awe of your honesty, wisdom, and compassion. You have given this woman her life back. You have given her family their mother back. She found, she fought death because you inspired her to do so. Our world definitely needs more Danny Foskies in it. Everyone, Please join me in recognizing and celebrating Danny Foskey, CNA hero.